Hello everybody, I will show you in this video how to back calculate the strength properties of the material at a given factor of safety. For now, the uh, I'm going to show you the factor of safety for this slope. So when we analyze it, we got 1.352 factor of safety. So we want to have 1.5 by changing the friction angle of this material, which is the sand material. We have sand, silty sand, and weathered bedrock. So at what friction angle can we get factor of safety equal to 1.52? So let's see how we can do that. So we have three materials. We have sand, silty sand, weathered bedrock. The sand right now, uh, the friction angle for sand is 32.5. So what is the friction angle should be for the sand to have factor of safety 1.5? So in order to do that, we need to activate the sensitivity analysis. We go to analysis, then projects, and then statistics. And then we activate the sensitivity analysis. Then we click OK. After that, we go to statistics material and then uh, let me delete this show you how to make it so we're gonna add this material because we are interested in this uh, friction angle of sand so we're gonna add it and we're gonna choose only friction angle you can choose more uh, by changing these parameters and see what happened to the factor of safety for now I'm just gonna choose the friction angle click on finish the mean is 32.5, which is this value. So what will happen if I reduce it 5 and I increase it 5? What will happen to the factor of safety? So this is plus or minus 5. Click OK. And rerun the analysis again. And check the results. So for now, still the factor of safety is still the same, but we go to the statistics and click on the sensitivity plot and we choose a sand friction angle and then plot. So you can see here at 1.5, the, the factor of safety, let's see, one point. So almost at 1.5 factor of safety, the friction angle of the sand should be 35.3. So let's change the friction angle of the sand to 35.3 and see what will happen to the factor of safety. It should be 1.5. Actually, I forgot what is the, the friction angle to get the factor of safety. Let's check very fast. So we should change it to 35.3, three. Uh, so we change it, we run the analysis again, and we should get uh, about 1.5 factor of safety. So we got 1.5 when we change the properties to 30, 35.2. So yeah, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. And change this to... So this is 1.5 now. And we can just increase the thickness of this line. And we can see multiple slip surface but the software chose the minimum this is the minimum uh, failure surface and this is if i floating so we can make it like this together so the blue one is six and the lowest one is zero which is red the blue is six so now we have like around 1.5 to four this is about four 
we can click on here and we can choose actually you see it's four and we can delete it as well delete query okay uh, we can get rid of these two lines if you want we can go here and we can delete these lines or you can keep it so it's very simple and very useful tool to uh, back calculate the strength properties of specific materials uh, at specific factor of safety to to achieve your target factor of safety thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoy it